everyone, it's your friend Thick Noodles, and welcome back to the Noodle Planet. <laughs> I love switching hands like that. Where today we are. Uh, you know what? Okay, I I've got an idea. I, I was thinking about not bringing a pet because we're gonna go check out the village uh, and try something out that I saw. Oh, whoa, 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 what? No, no. <laughs> that was so not cool. <laughs> what is that? What is that guy doing? Is he paying his respects to Naruko? Because I don't think so. You, that is honestly, what? Ser seriously, really? What happened? There's like a missing torch here or something. Cause that is totally not cool. Wait, 9, 10, 9, 10. Wow, oh, right here too. I didn't take any off. That's just never happened before. Whew, all right, crisis averted, back to pet choosing. Um, all right, here we go. And we've got a kitty cat. Is it Tom again? Has Tom stuffed the, nope, it's Fluffy. I knew it, I was gonna say, has Tom stuffed the ballot box? But no, no, it's always Fluffy. Fluffy, there you are. Hey, what's going on, Socks? Here, I'll leave you something behind because I'm taking Fluffy. Oh, you got salmon today. Oh, wait, sorry. There you go. Get, get in there. There you go. All right, Fluffy, let's go. Okay. Um. Right. Oh, Golden Noodle Award. Let's go do that. Um. And I noticed, I think we've got a new resident zombie. I can't zoom. No, maybe not. I thought there was one in the water there to, you know, to... To compliment him, but no. Okay, so there is the Golden Noodle Award. Today goes to Saif K, or Saif K. And the reason is because of the fan art you see on screen right now. It's a picture of uh, me and either Kevin or Dave, but uh, one of the minions uh, in Legos, which I thought was really cool. He said it took him a long time to find the pieces and get it all right, and I love it. So congratulations and thank you for that. Uh, different type of fan art, kind of cool. Uh, I don't see Fluffy anywhere. Hey! Oh, right. Oh, um, okay. Gotta make sure to bring a shovel. Okay. Oh, before we go down there, let me show you guys the arcade. Um, uh, I didn't finish it. I did put the root or ceiling on it. I didn't actually technically put the roof because the roof is made of, uh, sand. But I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, I'll show you in a second, uh, what I ended up doing here. Oh, we gotta go down, right? Because I've covered it. Uh, and I've only put in one side of the arcade games because I only had the three Wither Skeleton Skulls with me. Oh, I don't know if it's well lit. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Okay, here we go. Check it out, guys. Ooh, and I got this to work. Uh, uh, the, uh, the guy who actually made this, it's Pixel Bits, I think. Um, he sent me a tweet. And also some of you uh, let me know that uh, the cool thing about these, uh, these wooden trap doors now is that. Uh, what, so say I wanted it to be like there. And... Um, what you can do is you put it on this block right here, flip it up, and they are once again. Now, I tried this a long time ago uh, in 1.8, and it doesn't work. But in 1.9, you can push them, and they'll stay there. So uh, that's what I did because uh, I, I wanted them to be pushed up. So there you go. Sweet, right? And then um, I haven't quite... Oh, you Oh, this is gonna take forever. Okay, I haven't I haven't put any on this side. I'm thinking about not doing it with um with purper. I'm thinking about using a different uh, block so like different arcades games on this side. But uh, don't know. Uh, okay, so now it is time to head. Well, to head to my storage room, gotta grab a couple of things, and then we will. Oh man, I I'm trying to figure out which one is fluffy and which one is not. Are you coming? Ah, she might not come. Um. But yeah, let me get down to the storage room and uh, grab what I need, uh, and then and I'll be back. Ah, there she is! <laughs> I had uh, I'd forgotten to bring chests, and uh, she just showed up. So uh, I've got most of what I need here, and uh, let me make like let's make. Uh, we'll start with oh, and I gotta remember to bring a shovel. Don't let me forget a shovel, guys. Oh well, let's make one more then. Um, one more then. Okay, uh, so we'll make six of those. That makes us three of the l things we're gonna make. <laughs> it's just not that it's like a super secret. So we'll need uh, three anvils as well. And so this like design that I'm sort of working on is a little bit iron heavy for what it does, but it looks, well, I don't know how it's gonna look in a desert biome, 
But in the biome that I saw, it looked pretty cool. You know, I'm going to bring pistons just to, because I didn't really see what it was in the picture. Uh, but I thought it was droppers. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. So I think that's everything that I need. Oh, uh, let's go ahead. Not that I don't have a crafting table there, but we can just go do that here too. Um, let's make myself some cobble walls. Eh, maybe like, actually there's a lot of those in each one. So let's make, yeah, good. 36. That should be enough. Okay. So, so now, um, the, what I wanted to do, and I'm glad Fluffy came with me. Oh, eh, my parts. Uh, is I wanted to, uh, this, this is a, I guess, start a new project here. Uh, and that is expanding this dumb room. Okay. Um, th this room is too small for me to get a pet onto my, um, uh, onto the, my rail. So if I were to just break it a lot and make it really, cause like, I mean, not that it was pretty before, but I mean, oh, oh, see, you guys almost let me forget a shovel. See, I told you no one reminded me. I remembered myself. Rude. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, and not that it was pretty before, but if I make it super ugly and, um, I should, uh, be more inclined to actually fix this room, make it pretty, make it functional. Cause right now it is the worst. Uh, it doesn't do anything at all what it's supposed to. Uh, hi Fluffy. Let's just move all this around, get it all out of the way so we can actually get a cat into a minecart. Cause I have such trouble getting my pets to follow me into the minecarts here. Here we go. Let's just do this. Let's just, yeah. All right. There. Let's just put some torches down and not be too careless. All right. There. And here. And there. Okay. Come here, Fluff. All right. Let's see if I can, uh, see if I can manage now. Oh my gosh. I've got so much junk now. All right, Fluff. Come on. Get over here. Yep. That's right. Sit down. Oh no. You're up against the wall. Why do you guys always do that? Ah, they do it on purpose. Get over here. But see, now I can, oh, you get over here. Yeah. Yep. 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 There you go. Yep. That's it. Good cat. Okay. Now I'll just take out a little bit more because <laughs> I hate this room anyway. And push you in. Come on. Get in your cart. Get in your cart. Get in. Get in. Wait, can you not push them in? You have to push the cart over them. Is that what it is? I'm trying to remember now. Uh, I haven't done it in a while. Let's see. Do this then. Here you go. Get in. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why won't you get in? Get in, cat. Get in. Get in. Can you not make them get in anymore? Maybe they have to be standing. Get in. Get in. You walked right through it. Okay, maybe this is a new thing in 1.9. Fluffy, you wait here. All right. Sorry, kitty. See ya. Bye. All right, I'll be back when I get to the village. That was super frustrating. And up the slope we go. Yay. Oh, perfect timing to take a nap. Hey, stay. So, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I've got extras. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so, uh, you could see the lampposts that I had, and those are really, really basic. And actually, I can reuse some of the stuff so I can make more. Uh, these are, these are, you know what? These are actually not that terrible. Uh, and they're quite in the theme that I'm about to do. Huh. Who knew? Okay. But first things first, I wanted to try something out. Uh, instead of using the cobble, I just wanted to see what it would look like if we used the actual path. I don't know how this is going to look uh, because it is a desert village, but let's take a look. Uh, it doesn't hurt to try. I mean, this is a new feature and I haven't really used it very much at all and it might work well. I have no idea though. It may not. Uh, let's just take it to right here. If I take it too close to those, uh, to the carpet there, I'll have to replace the carpet and I don't feel like doing that. So, but if this works, then I will. I think it's just, does it work with, does it have to be grass? Seriously? Ah, all right. Uh, silk touch. Good. That's annoying. I didn't realize that it had to be grass. Uh, yeah, we got some grass over here. So annoying. Uh, I thought you could do it, um, on dirt, but apparently it has to start as grass. So we'll grab some grass blocks with a silk touch pickaxe. I don't have a silk touch shovel with me, so this will have to do. Um, and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just grab a few. I'm not gonna get enough to fill the whole thing. And then we'll just fill the rest with dirt and watch it complete itself. 
Hopefully, that'll do. Alright. Ugh. So annoying. Um, I should get- I should get the iron back from that beacon. Actually, if I like this design for the, um, for the lights, uh, what I'll do is start reclaiming that iron there instead of going back and taking it, because there's a lot there. Uh, okay. Let's put down the grass. And that should be enough to sort of, uh, pepper this a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, okay, good. Right, okay. Uh-huh. And we'll, we'll try a couple of them. Well, once you do it, does it, does it not, it wouldn't grow as grass next to it? Is that? Oh, I think it'll work great. Uh, okay, so we'll let that grow while we do this. So, uh, this is, okay, so we'll start with this one right here. So, um, it's going to be really similar. I didn't even realize, maybe that's why I liked it so much, is because I'd already almost kind of done something, well, I've done, I had done something fairly similar. Um, so that's why it sort of piqued my interest, because I was like, oh, I like that. And then, turns out, I've already done that, kind of. And it's really, really basic. Uh, so it's, uh, I think it's What's going on here. Can you can't you can't pillar up with a cobble wall, really? That maybe if I ah, all right, fine. Okay, we're gonna do this this way. Well, actually, I think I need to do it this way anyway. So one, two, three, four. So do four of these. So it's a little bit taller. And then, um, okay, and then here we want to do a hopper facing down. So that's kind of why you need this. Uh-huh. And then here we want to do an anvil. And this, this actually ends up looking pretty cool. That, and then, uh, and then we'll just do the same thing on this side here. Ba -da -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yep. And then a hopper here. And then... Uh, and then we put the, um, put these on here. Let's see how this looks. So put one there, one there, and then we put, so it, it, you know, it's, it's double, I guess, double lights. Um, but wait, nope. <laughs> wait, don't you, oh yeah, you just right click. You don't shift right click. There we go. That should do it. Uh, oh, turn you off. So you're at nighttime. Okay. Let's clear it out. Let's see how this looks. All right, let's see how it looks compared to what I had before. Maybe I'll just leave what I had before. We'll see. Let's take a look. Let's see. Ah, yeah. Now, the only thing is, I think it's a little tall because it is taller than the walls. Um, I, I think it's got to come down, right? Let's let's take a look real quick here. Um, Here we go. Let's see. So... Well, you know, uh, yeah, I, I want to take it down one block, so that'll be easy for this part. <laughs> oh, wait, not that part. Wait a second, wait a second. It's going to be too far down. Hold on. Oh, uh, right. Okay, so that should go. No! Why am I so bad? Okay, here we go. That should be easy here. Yep, okay. And then this is not going to be so easy. This is going to be like replacement. <laughs> All of this. Ah, uh, there we go. I think that this is a really good addition. Let's see. Ugh. And I still have to build these towers. I, I've put it off for a long time. It, it's just one of those things that, you know, I don't come here. I, I thought having built that, um, the railroad, I would come here a lot more often. Um, but I don't come as often as, as, I mean, I, I guess I come more often than I used to. Uh, but I still don't come. I don't hear any villagers. I'm just realizing this. We need to check on them. Um, has something happened? Has there been a zombie apocalypse here? I wouldn't be surprised based on what happened with my noodle bar. Um, all right, there and there. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, that's better, that's better, okay. Much better height. Yes, I like it, I like that. Yeah, I like that, I like that. These are simplistic, but I, I like this a lot better. Yeah, that works. That's the right height. Sweet. Wait, let's go check on the villagers first. And we'll put another couple. What is gone? What has happened here? Wait a second. What? Where? Huh? What the? No. 
What? What has happened? There's not a single villager here. How can this be? Is this... Is this... Well... <gasps> There's a broken door here. <gasps> it happened. Where have... I don't... With a broken door, that means... That can only mean zombies. That took out... Wait. There's one left right there. So... Wait, how about over here? Here too? How? This doesn't make any sense. How could they have gotten in there? There's no way. Oh, we've lost them all. There's only one guy left. Uh, we're going to have to rebreed the population. I don't even know how in 1.9 anymore. Oh, is it really true? I thought I had this place fully protected. And all it takes is one zombie to take out the entire village. Oh. Well, I guess we're going to be spending some more time here uh, <laughs> in the future. Uh, and I think I need to make some more lights. Um, okay, well, <laughs> let's get back to this with the path and see how that looks. I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'll... Oh, except it exposes underneath there. I can fix that, though. But... Ah, yeah, I like that. I like that better than the cobble. That works nicely. Except now there's nobody to... Nobody to walk on it. Uh, I feel really bad. I killed this entire village. I thought I was doing good things for it, but I, apparently not. Ah, man. Well, seeing as these three are the original population of the village, I'm really, really, really duh, glad that I saved them um, because they're going to repopulate the village. Although we could start attracting zombie villagers over there as well. Uh, but I've got to, the first thing I think I need to do uh, to protect the village now, because that is of utmost importance, uh, is make sure all of the lighting is set perfectly there because we cannot afford that again. And, and it's so weird because it's not like I'm ever in the area. So that chunk... Oh, I was going to say that chunk's never loaded, but now that I've increased my view distance so far, that's probably what did it. Oh, well, gives us something to do anyway, guys. So if you enjoyed this heartbreaking episode on the Noodle Planet, please do go ahead and pick up those chopsticks and poke that like button as hard as you can. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, Noodle Line!